What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Nate Bargetzi. This is the first episode of the Nate Land podcast. I, uh, you know, I, I did a podcast a long time ago, uh, a very, very long time ago, right when podcasts were getting big, and then we stopped it. It was basically like if you like got a tip about Google. <laughs> And then you were like, ah, let's get out of it. Uh, I mean, it was like two th- or 2010 or something. I don't know. So, but now we're doing it again. Uh, COVID has uh, forced forced me into a podcast because I can't I can't do anything. So uh, we're doing it here. We're in Nashville, Tennessee. This is the first one. Uh, I'm excited to do a show. I don't know, you know, I don't know exactly what this show is going to end up being. Uh, it's just us hanging out, a couple comics. Let me introduce you to the comics that are in here. I got uh, Brian Bates, hey. who's on the road with me a lot, and uh, Aaron Weber's been on the road with me once, and that will be the only, that'll be the last time. <laughs> he really blew it. Yeah. Uh, but so we, I just figured, you know, we're here, we're all stuck in Nashville, uh, so let's do a podcast. You know, let's get it, let's get it going. We did all the proper stuff. We did, we took people's head temperatures. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Yeah, uh, the, the, the gun that you point at your head. We did the gun mm-hmm. to point at their head. <laughs> Mine was lower than what it should be. Yeah. Is that good? What was it? I was like 96 or something. That's what I was. Yeah, I run a little cold. Do you? I think Is so. Is that good to be 96? I mean, it's further away from a fever, right? So that's got to be good. I mean, like, is, will there be bragging of like, yeah, I was like, I, my temperatures, like, some guy gets mad when they get they do it. And he's like, <laughs> I was in nine. Mine's ninety three. So maybe <laughs> chill out. Like he's a guy. I just watched uh, Contagion, the yeah. movie with Matt Damon, and I, for some reason this has made me want to watch it. Like it was, you know, it's like almost like if you, I don't know, if you smell pizza and then you you go get pizza. Like in your mind, like uh-huh. I don't know. If that's a good example, but. I, I because of all this, I wanted to watch Contagion and I wanted to see like what it was, and uh, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's exactly this, and the stuff that they talk about and the stuff that they say in that movie is all exactly what's happening in the world. And he is a, Matt Damon's immune to it, and I mean this one, like I mean they were not to ruin, but people were just dying immediately from from that whatever they had there. Uh, but it's all the it's all the stuff that's happening. Matt Damon's immune to it, and so he does a lot of that yelling. Like they're like, "You get back, sir!" And he's like, "No, I'm immune to it. It's fine." <laughs> like people are like, "Oh, okay, man. Sorry, man. We didn't. You know, like there's uh-huh. that's like that's essentially what I'm saying. This would be if you go in, you're like, "My temperature is 92, so maybe back. Maybe I'm not the one you need to be yelling at. <laughs> like if it's really low, you know." Uh huh. I think 93 is your. your What's that, the that's lowest? A pro- that's a problem. Look up what the lowest temperature. I think anything lower than ninety five. That's, that's a yeah. That's a concern. I think it, I, I think you got to be at nine. I think you got to be right around it. I don't think it can go that low. Ninety five to uh, the record for the lowest body temperature, which an adult has been known to survive, <laughs> is fifty six point seven. Right. Yeah, that's. Pretty- I mean, that guy can't get COVID. Fifty six. <laughs> He was submerged in cold, icy water for quite some time. So that wasn't just his natural body temperature. That's something happened to him. Oh, he was in cold water. Yeah. That's like taking a cold shower. He's not walking around everyday life running 56 degrees. That Look, would be a problem. hypothermia is if your body temperature falls below 95. I mean, that's you wish you had a little more wiggle room. And you don't. Yeah, we're pretty close to hypothermia at all times. At all times. I mean, we, at any point... You just jump in there, ninety-five degrees. Uh, but uh, I would a low love. body temperature may occur with an infection. So I might already have. You guys may have it right now. Okay, you were point one degrees hotter than I was. I don't know if you're much well, safer than I am, dude. I don't know. That's yeah. I, all right, ninety-five degrees is hypothermia. I thought it'd be, you know, what do I know? <laughs> that's the point of this show too. Is we know nothing. <laughs> And so that is what I do want this show to be. Like I, you know, I know there's a lot of stuff that like people want to use. Uh, I was like a lot of celebrities are using the platform in very good ways where they want to, you know, you should all, I don't know, go live a good life, be a nice person. Uh, but that's, that's not what I want to do this. I'm not a big platform guy. I don't like, 
using a platform. I, I think it's embarrassing to say I need to use my platform. Like, it's insane to me to use it for stuff. I look at this show as like just trying, what I want to do this podcast for us to be just funny and people can watch this. And then if you are fighting the good fight, I do think you need a break. You know, those, you can't just argue all day long and we should be the, 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 our platform should be used in a way that you can come here and like just laugh and not feel, you know, we don't know what body temperatures we're supposed to I be. I was going to say, we made a pretty good case from the get go. And so we should never say anything. <laughs> I didn't. I'm a. I never say anything about anything because I. I mean, I went to high school, and that's it. And I had a. I had a rough time getting out of high school. It wasn't like just a brief. It wasn't like I just flew out and was. Colleges were knocking on the door. I. It was crazy. It's like my. Uh, I went to a community college, and I mean, I have a joke about it. Where I. I but it was. It's all true. I had no credits when I went to this community college. I took uh, speech. I did. I got an A in speech, though. Okay. I did. I did a speech on Vandy's '96 football season, <laughs> and I had a highlight reel. Vandy, by the way, I had a higher highlight reel. I'm a Van- big Vanderbilt fan, uh, and Vanderbilt had a highlight reel that I got, and they went five and six that year. And it was a year from. I think we played Notre Dame, which yeah. Aaron's a big Notre Dame. That's guy. the year you were doing a speech about. Yeah. When he went five and six. Yeah, that was, that was all we had, year. dude. I watched it. I mean, I watched this. Dude, I used to have, it was a VHS tape. My parents got it uh, for me for Christmas. My mom worked at Vanderbilt, and she was in, like, the ticket office. And so they gave it to her, and it was uh, five and six. We led, That was the year we lost to LSU. We had two <laughs> delay game penalties. and we got On an extra, extra point. point. Yeah, on an extra point, Vandy – Instead, they were going to go for two because we were beating LSU. LSU was ranked seventh, I think, in yeah. the country. And we we score with maybe, I think, 13 seconds left. And we're up six to seven. It's very exciting. Yeah. We're going to go for two. Might as well. It didn't really matter. If we beat this team, it's like going to be unbelievable. We get a delay game penalty trying to decide on the play. And then so we're like, all right, fine. We're still going to go for two. It's only five yards. Another delay game penalty. They still couldn't decide. And then now we kick the extra point, gets blocked, and then we lose. <laughs> and that's what this podcast – this podcast is going to be like that. It's like that play. <laughs> like yeah. it's just where it's like, yeah, we tried it, and it was terrible. Uh, so I don't know. But that's, that, that's, what, that's what I think uh, this show is. And this, you know, we just need to be fun and hope we're funny. I don't know. We might not be. Uh, we're all – you know, because we've got to get back in the groove – of being yeah. funny. I think that's a big thing for comics is you got to be, uh, you know, it's like hanging out with comedians. That's why too, I did, I've always thought about doing a podcast in the fact that you like, you should, uh, being funny is a muscle that you need to work. And when you're not, you know, when you're just watching like sad contagion <laughs> all day long, mm-hmm. it gets down, you know, you're not fun. Yeah. Just what, talking to yourself in your house. What was your major in college? I don't think I had it. <laughs> what did you think you were going to major in? I think I said communication. Like I think. <laughs> do like, you do you I major be, in something in, in community college? Like, do you have a? Yeah, you majored in a lot a lot of things. That's what sent you to community colleges. You, <laughs> you had some wrong majors. It was. Uh, I think I said communication was what my major was going to be, and I, I think I wanted to be a sports. Yeah, I was about to say, what did yeah. you think you were going to do with that? Yeah, like uh, this this podcast one day. Uh, I was going to do, like on Seinfeld, when he's like, I could be a sports announcer. <laughs> I, I like sports. You always talk about the funny things I say. I say good comments. <laughs> yeah, well, they give those to guys that typically are in sports. Uh, I think that's what I was going to try to be. But, I mean, it, I, I there was no concept of what I was going to get out of college. Like, mm-hmm. I went there, and then I went to Western Kentucky for a semester. Again, all remedial class. It felt bowling at Western Kentucky. Uh, How'd you do that? Huh? How'd you- uh, I don't even know. It was more impressive. They told me it was more impressive than getting an A was to fail it. Uh, and I'm an unbelievable. I'm not that bad at bowling either. I bowled yeah. a 266 is my high. What, what, in that class? No, no. no. Oh, okay. Just, but, but like since then, as I, when I got out of college, and just on the local bowling circuit, me and my buddy uh, Jeremy, they used to have in Hermitage in Nashville, they do quarter mania bowling. And we used to go uh, 
and we we got like really good because we'd go every Wednesday and bowl for like four hours, and so we ended up getting like pretty good. Mm-hmm. And now we go back to it, and they do it's like disco or it's like music bowling where it's like a night because now we're older, and you go in just the lights go off. It's like <laughs> glow in the dark. Cosmic bowling. Cosmic bowling. Yeah. And so you're just and music is super loud, and you're like you know I'm not a I want the music down. I'm not a fun car ride. You don't listen to music in the car? No. Oh, no. no, I can I can listen to nothing. Like I li- I like listening to I can listen to podcasts or I listen I don't podcast, radio, like sports talk a lot. I like listening to a lot of talk radio. Uh and I can also I've been known to not cut the radio on for quite a bit. Like where it's Are you talking like when y'all ride together, are you talking the whole time or is it just silence in the car? No, we talk. No, he makes me stay quiet. And, and make him sit in the back. Uh and face back. And face backwards. <laughs> You're in a station uh, wagon? Yeah, yeah, station wagon. No, I'm not. And that's the part that's frustrating. It's just it's a regular car. Uh but he still needs his face backwards. No, we don't I don't cut it on. I'm trying to get more into me. I told my wife that the other day we were uh we were listening. They made me a, a playlist for Father's Day with just a bunch of like father daughter songs, and stuff. Makes made you cry. You may tell you you start the older you get, you can cry a lot easier too. Mm-hmm. As a you know, you're a young man, right? How old are you? Twenty eight. You're a young uh, man, and you probably don't have any intentions of crying. You don't feel like crying's in your world. I cry more than I'm more than I'm proud of. You do? But I do it very privately. I, I, I get into movies, TV shows. Yeah. I'll cry. When was yeah. the last time you cried? Oh, dude, probably two nights ago. Watching. Uh, watch Contagion? It. Not Contagion. No, that's a different Contagion. cry. That's a very different You meant to what they cry. did do good in Contagion? Like, so the, a kid dies at the very beginning. I don't think I'm get anything away. Uh, but again, it's a movie. <laughs> it's it's like, an old movie it's at an this old point, movie. right? Yeah, so the kid dies. Because uh, he gets it, the mom and the kid. Gwen, Gwen Paltrow's in this, and she dies immediately, and which is pretty crazy. Like her, she just like <laughs> it was like she's like I can do this movie, but not that long. And they're like, all right, we're gonna kill you off real fast. And uh, so she dies, and the kid dies, but they don't really show it so so much of the kid dying. It's not this like long drawn out thing, which I was happy with. So yeah. it's not this like tear. You're not like emotionally like. You know, it's kind of like it happens, and it's about just moving the story along, which mm-hmm. I did. You know, kudos for that. Contagion. You know, I like to promote <laughs> this podcast. People go like, "When did this podcast come out?" Like ninety <laughs> four. Yeah. yeah, it's an old one. But you're saying scenes like that affect you a lot more now that you're. Yeah, I don't dad? want. No, now that you're dead, yeah, man. Like, yeah. Uh, I mean, commercials, anything. When you have a uh, a kid, I, I think the older you get, my dad, my dad can cry. He cries all the time. Now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think. Once you hit a certain age, I'm 41, so I think you get 40 and above, just the waterworks, it's open, man. You mm-hmm. can just cry. I mean, you try to... In public or just at the house? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't... There's no, like, just bawling, you uh-huh. know what I mean? Like, there's no, like, it's just, like, un, you're not, like... You don't lose it. I don't lose it. Sure. No, it's a very much, like, a dude trying to keep it together, but yeah. you can feel yeah. more emotions come uh-huh. up than I think normally. Than, than, than I did when I was a younger man. Yeah. And I think it just gets worse. I mean, that's what I think, that it's just going to keep going and like it's going to be a nightmare. I've noticed that just with my parents, just they more cry. emotional about stuff over, yeah. over the years. Yeah. You get sentimental about stuff that you were never sentimental about. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You just, you can picture stuff and uh, yeah, you start, yeah, I don't know, start bawling. Anyway. Uh, that's what we're trying to do <laughs> here. At the Nate Land podcast is just we get a moment of just everybody's crying. Yeah, if we have one show where all three of us cry, that will be the last episode we do. <laughs> I'm it will be the end. I, I can't even predict it. I'm not saying, but I'm saying in the second episode, if all three of us cry, then this show is canceled. I think one of us cries, we'll have to have a discussion. You know what I mean? I think they might be voted out. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if I would like it. Uh-huh. I would be very uncomfortable. Well, that'd probably be me, just for... You would cry. Age. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ba- we got Bates on the computer. The guy that... I mean, we just taught him that he can type in the browser. <laughs> like, it was the funniest... 
We 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 had him looking up something on Google, so we said just search it. And he goes to in the browser. He goes to Google dot com to then type into the Google doc to go into the page. You got to search for Google first. You got to search for Google first, <laughs> and then he went and typed it in. Yeah, where's Google at? Try to find let's, it. Let's search for. It. I feel like as you older, you get you just get steps like that in your life that you're like, yeah, you don't need that step anymore. Yeah. You're like, I have to use this other step. Hmm. You went into it as if. The internet was made yesterday, and we were trying it. And you're like, go to Google.com first, uh, and then and then I had you go to the private window too. Yeah. You just logged in. I'm just gonna get your emails now because on the regular one. Well, I had to log on my MySpace to. Find <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I was the I was the the computer guy at my elementary school when I was in first grade. Like when the school started using the internet. And I remember I got called out of class by another teacher and they brought me into the classroom and she had typed out a URL in Netscape, the browser they were using. Yeah. And she goes, okay, I got it typed out. How do I make it go? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I just pressed enter and then walked out of the room. So just like, I mean, I'm reminded of that. Just watching on. Bates fly around on the computer yeah. here. There you go. Yeah. You press enter. Enter. There you yeah. go. How do you spell Netscape? Uh, <laughs> It's, I remember, uh, you know the thing I was blown away by, technology-wise? DVR. I remember when DVR, so, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to give this joke away, but like, because uh, I, I talk about it in my new hour, but uh, I talk about being, I was born in 79, so we're like, a, I'm a generation gap. So I was in between, so I didn't have computers or nothing growing up, but then I did have them. Uh, when I was in high school, we had AOL and stuff. We got that. So I've seen, like, we're in, I'm in a world that, like, I kind of, in my formative years, I've grown up with nothing and then some, and then having stuff. But I remember DVR, when I first heard about DVR, I could not wrap my head around it. And I mean, I was probably in my 20s, I guess. It's been around for a while now. Has it been 10 years or, something or whatever? Now. But so it's been around for a while. But when I first heard it, I just couldn't understand. Like, how are you recording live TV? Like, you know, I was like, where is it going? Like, what's... And it was like the first technology thing that I just couldn't believe. Like, I just didn't... I was it was like, just TiVo at that point, right? It was TiVo. Yeah. And I was like, you can rewind it? Like, it doesn't make... It didn't make sense to me that uh -huh. that stuff worked. And it took a long time for me to... I'm not saying I even really get it now. Yeah. I just I'd like you it. to explain it to us right now. <laughs> I don't know. Does man. it go into the future? <laughs> yeah. I think you think it goes to the future. It goes. I know. I think I can see what's going on tomorrow. That's how I check tomorrow's weather. It's fast forward to tomorrow. <laughs> but you would you would record stuff with like a VHS tape, right? From TV. Yeah. 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 So it's yeah. the same principle, it's but it's just principle. not a VHS tape. It's just a hard yeah. drive. Yeah. Hard. But I mean, what's a hard drive? You know. I mean, <laughs> how is this even working? How are we hearing this? Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's crazy. Yeah. I think there's a lot of stuff that no one knows how it truly works. Mm -hmm. Like even these microphones, someone could like kind of tell you, and then I think they would be like, eventually you would, they would get to a point and they go, I, don't, I mean, you know, it's a thing. Yeah, you you put a thing in there. Like they could talk to you a little bit about it, and then they would go, then it's like a thing. And then I would tap out pretty quickly. Yeah, having to do a microphone. No, if somebody explained it, I mean, I don't know yeah. what any of the terms, dynamoid cart. You know what I'm talking about? You know those no, words. I've heard of those words. Wow. Uh, well, I, I heard a Google a tech expert, five minutes Aaron ago. Weber. <laughs> Let's go on the scene to our tech expert, Aaron Weber. Aaron, how's it going down there with the dimoids? <laughs> and then you just, and then you pop in. Hey, everybody, I'm here in the dimoid section. We had a fight break out. <laughs> that word like, is oh. probably so far off from what I've tried. You, have you ever heard that word before? No. Talking about microphones? No. Carthoid? No. Carthoid? Ca uh, Y'all know what I'm talking <laughs> The sound guy knows what I'm talking the, yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all in there, dude. So, We're not right. supposed to show that other people in the room because of COVID, but no, nah, let's go ahead. No, I'm joking. Oh, I'm joking. Sorry. <laughs> you go, I don't know. Guy, come on. We have 50 people this in the room. No packed. one can. 60 people are in this room. Nobody can tell me <laughs> what. <laughs> We're trying to act like we're we we're like we're all Zoom. We're not near yeah, each other. A yeah. hundred people in this room. You guys all bought five tickets. Five people to this. have fl the flu, <laughs> and you're going to tell me the guy in the back coughing. You don't know <laughs> what a carfoid is. What a carfoid is in between the coughs. I mean, we're in a pandemic, man. It's all we did. We did temperature checking. I, that works. You had 
you you actually had a COVID test. I did, man. You did. That was my big adventure. To go do that. Yeah. So just so so Zanies in Nashville, which yeah. you weren't at Zanies, but Zanies in Nashville. Uh, I, I did a show there a couple weeks ago. They're doing they're doing all the proper things. They have the seats spread out. It doesn't look like it when you're when everybody's in there. It does feel it was less people, but it feels packed. But it's because when you when everybody would leave and you see the tables, they were properly the way they should be. And then when everybody gets in there, obviously, and no one's been out, so it even feels worse. You know, than yeah. it is. So we did a show. Then D.L. Hewley was there, and he did a show, and he passed it on stage. I'm sure a lot of people saw that video. He just like started like rambling, you know, like something happened, and then he passed it on stage, and then tested positive for COVID. So everybody at Zany's had to get tested. Uh, D.L. might still be in Nashville. He had a quarantine for 14 days, and then uh, and he's fine now. He put videos out. And then, uh, as as we know, no one's tested positive at Zany's from it, so it seems like no one's got it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but everybody had to go do it. Uh, your fiance, mm-hmm. uh, she said she works there. She tested negative. Yeah. But you had to get tested too. Yeah. And then, so how was that? Where'd you go? Right outside of Nissan Stadium. They have a big parking lot. Oh, really? Set up, and it's this huge drive-through. They got cones. It's this huge. It was. I was actually really impressed with. I expected it to just be a nightmare. Yeah. But, I mean, it took about two hours. But you just drive up. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to pay. Yeah. You just go up and do it. Yeah. Did you guys go together? Yeah, two of us. I think you can have two people in a car. Okay. Um, Did it hurt? (laughs) It did. It did hurt pretty pretty bad. Like, what do they do? They stick the thing? Yeah. And it's it's like a little straw, a really thin straw. They shove up your nose, and then they twist it. Oh. And they go pretty far. You don't know how far you can go up your nose until somebody does that. They go up pretty high. It, it's like, is it like, you think it's going to stop two times before it stops? Oh, dude. Yeah. And like, you're like, that's got to be, whoa. <laughs> no, right. Yeah, there's oh, more there. There's yeah. some more room. It's like you just keep opening doors to a house and you're uh-huh. like, there's another door. And well, then you keep going. I was trying, the whole time, so there's like three checkpoints when you pull up. There's... You, it took like two hours total, but like 30 minutes into it, a guy stops you. He takes all your information. Then like 30 minutes later, another guy stops you, verifies all your information. And then like 45 minutes later, you get to where they do the actual test. Yeah. So I was thinking the whole time, like we're the 900th car maybe to come through that day. And it was like noon. Yeah. So I was thinking the whole time, like when I waited tables, I was obsessed with the small talk. Yeah. Like, there's like three jokes that people make yeah. at a restaurant. Yeah. You know, like you like what are making they? these jokes. Well, I was I was one like I didn't want to be a hack yeah. in yeah. the dry in the COVID yeah. test. Yeah. Right. You don't make your co- yeah, you don't make the guy that it's like, all right. Man. Like how many of these same conversations yeah, yeah. are they having all yeah. day? So I was like, I'm gonna try to have like a genuine moment yeah. with one of these people, yeah. right? So the first guy stops, he goes, What's your last name? And I said, Weber. And he goes, one B or two. And I was like, one like the grill not the basketball player that was my big yeah. joke yeah and uh he he gave me nothing yeah like he might have you know he had a mask so maybe yeah. he smiled I, he, <laughs> I don't think he did so is it like what we just gave you when we heard it yeah it was uh, worse nothing. than that actually. it was worse he made it worse he's like ugh. <laughs> I made his day worse. Go! I hope you have it. So then, yeah. that's what he's, and you're like, "What's that?" And he goes, "Nothing." And then he's like, "You're like, I don't think they're supposed to say that." I'm rooting for this guy to have it. So, and I hope it's bad. So, like, I bomb real bad, and then then you got to wait. Then you got 30 minutes before your next checkpoint. So I was yeah. thinking, I, I gotta try it again. So I oh, double down on that joke. Let's workshop the joke a little bit yeah. in the car. And then the next guy goes, uh, he goes, Weber. It's Weber with one B. And I go, yeah, like the grill. And he goes, no, nah, I got it. <laughs> it just, he, was not, he just ended it. Not having That guy it. beeped for it and goes, got a car here. D- terrible joke. And he let him go. He's like, no, 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 no. We, we were fine. Look, to be fair, it's a, it's a pretty dire situation. I mean, it's like we're testing for a, yeah. a pa- you know, it's a pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's a tough. Are they all wearing hazmat it's suits? It's a tough crowd. Yeah, they're, yeah. no, not, uh, yeah, kind of hazmat suit Or like. The white a starter jacket, yeah. not a full head thing, but they got masks on. An old and Titans uh, gloves, and Titans wear. They all have <laughs> Titans. The pro shop. They should do that. 
They all just have Titans, uh, Eddie George jerseys, yeah. and you're like, oh, okay. Helmets Is with, that... the, with the visor. Yeah. Yeah, so the last guy, he's got he's doing the actual test, right? So we're a little nervous because we've heard that it hurts. So the guy, I rolled out the window, and he walks up. He goes, just to let you know, it's going to be a little bit of discomfort. And I go, dude, I heard it feels really good <laughs> yeah. to try to get he – gave me, he gave me one of these. <laughs> yeah. He was so over it. Uh, so I bombed real bad. And uh, but that was my big adventure. I think they don't. Yeah, it's like it's 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 like they they just how many people they get to talk to? How many people aren't comfortable? I know. And like so, it's like yeah, it's it's I get it. You want to be fun and funny, and then they're just like I don't care. Like they got moving along. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like dude, there's everybody's a line. No one cares about your dumb jokes. <laughs> Do they? And so it's like it hurts, or is it just it's very uncomfortable? It's like it's like a shot. It's like a split second of extreme discomfort. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, But then it's over. You know, it doesn't last. And then how long before you find your results? Took me about a week. I found out yesterday that uh, I don't have it. By the way, positive. Yeah. (laughs) You're like, what's that? Surprise! Maybe I should have left. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. You go. You undo an envelope. So we're gonna find out. You're like, what, dude? No, look before you get here. Like, (laughs) yeah. You don't have it. Yeah, that's good. Did they? Do they do the antibody test too? Like, no, no, I don't have. You gotta go. They weren't doing that. They weren't doing that. Now you can go to like a Walgreens or something, and uh, I think they can do those there. Yeah, mm-hmm. and see if you've had it. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's uh, you know, I wonder if everybody's gonna have to get it at some like the test. Like you think we're just slipped through the cracks and not do a test or. Does everybody have to go do the test? I think everybody pretty much thinks they've already had it sometime. I feel like everyone I know thinks they had it in February before it even became a thing. That's just a cool time to say you had it. <laughs> I like, know. That's what it's all about. You're like, I got like a cold in February. I was saying, thinking that for yeah, a while. I was like, ah. I almost started going, I had it two years ago. Like, you just, you need to be, I want to be that guy that does like a. I was one of the first ones. I was that, one of the first ones. I brought it here. Yeah, dude. I brought it here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the guy. Well, Gwyneth Paltrow again in Contagion. Not to ruin it. But they they narrow it down to her. <laughs> like she's I mean, they're they're looking at videos uh-huh. and she's straight up like Patient the zero. problem. And then brings it home and then just kills everyone. Well, doesn't it happen like the back of a restaurant somewhere? Yeah, there? there's like in a China? pig or something. And then yeah. <laughs> yeah, pig had it first. This you know. This pig got it and then <laughs> Yeah. I don't. I don't remember his name, but he as a joke. <laughs> calling the guy pig. No, all, right. all right, stuff like that, guys. That you will see at the Nate Land podcast, where we get stuff out of the way, and jokes out. Do you think you do a joke about it? About what on stage, like COVID? <laughs> I mean, based on how that story did Here, just now, probably then, not. You got to punch it up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you got to you got the bad jokes out there. So maybe if something new comes along, so, you know. So you do were they at- lean over you as like I feel like what if they don't walk to the other side of the, so both of you are in the car <laughs> and they have to lean over one of you and go, nah, "No, I got it, dude." And you're like, "Why are you coming to this?" They come around to each other. What side. if your window didn't work? You know, like if you ever go to a drive through <laughs> oh, like you dude. have an old car and like your window's weird. Yeah. And then you can't like and then you, you got to go through the crack. You got to go, yeah. They go, yeah, and then it makes it way worse. He's like, I've never done it like this. Like, you don't want them to say, like, that's the thing they say before they do it. I've never tried it like this. I'm on, you, What if you pulled up and you hear the guy just go, I'm going to try this one with my left hand. And then you just see, like, and he's just like, I don't know. He's nervous with it. Because, you know, you're much more confident. Like, I'm, you know, but then yeah. if a guy's like, I did something with my finger, so I'm going to do my left hand on you. And you're like, no, I'll just wait, man. Would you, I'd walk away. I'd be like, I'm good. You drive, you just drive away? If the guy was like, I'm going to try my left hand, <laughs> and I'm going to go, what hand do you normally use? He goes, right hand, but I want to try left hand with Switch you. Switch it up. What if he wants to try He wants to change it up. Dude, he's bored. Dude, you've sunk in two hours into this already. Like, you were in line waiting. And you would let him do your left hand? Hold a pin with your left hand. Are you like, do you not feel a little sketchy with this? Yeah, I'm not comfortable right now. Yeah, and if you had a, like, you don't think you would be... You don't think you would you would be like no 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 now do your right hand. I mean I prefer you. Feel amazing. Right hand, but yeah, I feel amazing. Yeah, I think I could give you the test with my with, right with hand. your right hand. Left hand, I feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, you were out right. of town when all that happened. Did you consider just not getting around your fiance until she was tested? If she was having symptoms, I would have. Yeah. Found you know, I would have stayed away from her. 
<laughs> but I had a few days in between. Like by the time I got back into town, from everything I read, she would have started to have symptoms by then. Plus, I was just lazy, so I was like, you know what? Maybe <laughs> I'll just rather go yeah. do the test. I'll, maybe this is maybe the best way to get it. We can have a shared experience. Like we can box. suffer together. Yeah, exactly. Wanna, you know, I've never had chicken pox. Really? Yeah. yeah. We had. We tried to get it uh, when I was growing up. My brother had it, and so like as most parents do, they. Uh, my brother, they would make us sleep in the same bed. They were trying to make me get it. Because they want you just to get it to get over with, and I never got it, and I still haven't had it. And I think we even did it to see if I, like, maybe I did have it and didn't know. But And I was like, oh, maybe I'm immune to it. I just told people that, and I don't think that's true. Uh, <laughs> are chicken pox still uh, I think they're still, they're still around. Let me get on it. They're, let's go come back. We're going to do a commercial break as Brian <laughs> looks up this for 40 minutes. <laughs> He's still typing in the Google. Uh, yeah, chicken pox. Yeah, it's still around. There it is. Well, we don't know. That's what. How many? Scroll down on the right. Let's see how many. How many cases per year this is? Fewer than two hundred thousand. So now it's it's preventable by vaccine. So now you shouldn't get it, right? There. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't get it now. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's good. That's something. That's the positive news today, guys. Chicken pox is out of the way. <laughs> Onto the next, we get like a news person that goes. Turns out, guys, chicken pox is on the decline. Yeah. Anyway, up next, Aaron Weber, as in not the basketball player, <laughs> the, the grill. <laughs> next, we're going to talk to you, Aaron Weber, like the grill, not the basketball player, about his COVID test. There's something there. Yeah, at the Houston right? Oilers drive-in, that they said that it's a real. That would be like a sports. Like they get someone non sports to go cover it, and yeah. they're like, I'm at the Houston Oilers <laughs> facilities. And everybody's like, What? Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, one, na- pronounce- pronouncing a name, first of all, I saw, a, I feel like my name uh, has been pronounced many different ways. And uh, it's something I do get asked a lot, and by a lot, maybe six people, <laughs> but they ask me how to say it. So Jimmy Fallon would always say Bargazzi. And that's how he said it. And I honestly think I say it, we say it wrong as our family. I think, I think we pronounce I think our accent just made us trail off and we oh. pronounced it wrong. And uh, we say Bargetsi, Bargetsi instead of Bargatsi. But I, I accept all sayings. I've never been, a, you know, whatever anybody's going to say, which we, I, I did a uh, little fun fact. I did a, the Ancestry.com thing, right? So we're, we're, what I've always been told, we're Italian. Our family comes from, like, northern Italy, I guess, near Switzerland. Uh, that's when I learned those two places touch. And they, uh, and I think it's northern. I don't even know. Could be. Uh, but they, so that we're uh, Italian. That's what we've always said my whole life. We're Italian, all that stuff. I used to have a joke about I'm Italian, but we're not good Italian. We're all that. So then I do Ancestry.com. Get it back. Zero percent Italian. <laughs> Zero. None of it. I mean, in my whole life, I thought I was Italian. Yeah. And I told someone in my family who's older, I said, it said zero percent Italian. And he's like, well, that's not, that's not right. So he is against the science of it, which I love that he's like, that's, he's old enough to be like, I'm not. <laughs> it's not who 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 are they to know? Which is true. You're just spitting in a. He just discounted the whole the whole the test. Whole ancestry dot com. Yeah, uh, which I you know good. I mean, you do just spit in a thing. So yeah. you're like, I don't know who knows where this thing goes. Uh-huh. But it said zero. It wasn't a little. <laughs> it wasn't a hint. It was. I mean, it was like they drove to my house and said, you're out of your mind. You've been telling people you're Italian. Like, they were upset about it. Yeah. And uh, so that that changed everything. But so I actually, I was like looking up some stuff. And when I, if you type my name in Google, I saw uh, pronunciation came up. And you can listen to how people pronounce it. And and to see which one's right. Do that one again. Nick That's good. Yeah, he's got That's a little good. bit of an accent. Go to the go to the third one. I think the third one is Nate Bargetsi. That's that's I about right. That's, that's right? about right. Now let's go to uh, Hong Kong. How are they? 
I'm doing pretty good in Hong Kong. This podcast has been out for two years in Hong Kong. One more time. All right. I've been, by the way, my name, people have said my name like this that are all just American. Yeah. Like, it's like a, a different. That was Nate Barkitza. Yeah. Do a, do a, go to Dutch. Let's see what Dutch is. Nate Barkitza. Oh, yeah, dude. I've been, I've been, I've had that. At, as you brought as you're brought on stage uh-huh. and just some guy is like <laughs> oh gosh he just has no idea and he just says please welcome to the stage nate barhatsa yeah. <laughs> nate barhatsa yeah yeah turn to, that g into an h dude. yeah uh so another thing so i i have a google alert set up on my name and uh i'd imagine i hope a lot of comics do and i don't seem like i'm just a nightmare but it's usually nothing that you get Google alerts about. It's like your album's been downloaded illegally. It's all just that kind of stuff. But sometimes I'll get like a net worth thing, and my net worth is, it's always like kind of ridiculous. Uh, you know, because I'm not famous enough that like they haven't like scoured, you know, like you go look at other people's stuff, it's like all like very scoured. I, I'm on the fringe where maybe someone's kind of trying, but they're not really trying. And uh, I mean, one of them said my net worth was eighty million dollars, and I showed my wife that I was like, "We, we're getting a pool. <laughs> we have a lot of money." Uh, there's uh, my favorite one has been this one that I, I, I looked up, and uh, I don't know. I get I get this a lot too. It says my birthday is June thirtieth, nineteen seventy six, which which is the you know I mean that'd be today. Yeah, happy today birthday, buddy! Happy birthday. Uh, it, that's wrong. It's, my birthday's March 25th. Not, it was born in 1979, but it says June 30th, 1976. So right that's off the bat. Funny. Dude, I think I just got a happy birthday from someone. It's the, it, it used to be that when you go, if you, my Wikipedia or something, something said June 30th. Uh, I don't know where that came from, but today, that's pretty funny. Today's my, yeah, happy birthday. Yeah, man, it's a big day. 1976, how old am I? Uh, 44. 44 years uh-huh. old. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm 41, March 25th. I want to make sure. Like, like, and then I'm, I'm like, how does that stuff get out? As I, as I just, I'm the only one that's saying it. You're like, well, you're saying it. That's how. Uh, so it says I'm from Old Hickory, Tennessee, and he's was also raised there. I was, uh, I was born in Old Hickory and also raised there. It was not, I was born in downtown Nashville Baptist Hospital, and uh, my parents, Stephen Bargetti, that is my dad. He's a magician. Uh, and my mom, Dorica Bargetz, uh, Dor- or Dorisa, D-O-R-I-C-A. I don't know if it's Dorica or Dorisa. My mom's name is Carol. But uh, my, my real parents, Stephen and Dorisa, uh, had me. I was born in Old Hickory. I had three siblings. Okay. This is, I've learned of. I thought I only had two, but it turns out I have three. Uh, one brother, Worf Bargetzi, <laughs> W-R-F, Worf, Worf Bargetzi, my other sister, Paige, and my other sister, Hardy, Hardy Bargetzi. And that's a girl? Uh, it's a girl. Okay. Worf, Paige, and Hardy are all my siblings. <laughs> Worf? Worf. Play like Star Trek? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, when I, first time I've read it, I mean, I, I couldn't, I was, I was uncontrollable. Like, I was laughing so hard. <laughs> this sounds like somebody trying yeah. to get every fact wrong. I so mean, far. it's just like, just put stuff in, you mm-hmm. know? Uh, I am married. My wife, uh, Nate Bargetzi, is married to his wife named Shatty Bargetzi, S H A T T Y. Bargetzi, that's my wife. Uh, Shatty, which fits in, I mean, you would think. Like, his wife's name's Shaddy. You're like, well, that's a weird name. You're like, well, he grew up with a wharf and Hardy. Do yeah. you think it's that weird, like, that he married a Shaddy? Like, that's not... That would be... It would fit with, like, what you're attracted to. A Hardy, like a like a breakfast? Like a breakfast. Hardy, yeah. she's a big girl. Uh, she's big. And Worf... Worf, we, we've lost contact with Worf. We, we haven't talked to him in a while. Uh, we don't know where he's at. But... Who got into some deep? <laughs> he's on the dark web. Uh, I have two kids as well. Uh, really? it says I'm five foot eight too, which I'm I'm like five ten, five eleven. I like to say five eleven. I think I'm pushing five eleven, but probably five ten. Uh, I have two kids, which uh, named Dutch and <laughs> Oliver. 
O L I V I E R. How would you pronounce that? Olivier. Olivier? Right. What, what is it? O L I V I E R. Oliver with an extra I in there. Uh, yeah. So do you think that was like when we named her, when we named Oliver? Yeah, because it's a girl. So it's not Oliver. It's uh, Olivier? Uh, Olivier. Olivia. Yeah. Like, that's, uh, that's like how Olivia. I'd say so it. maybe that's the Olivia joke. Maybe that's where that, and then they went Olivier. Yeah. Because then someone said, I bet his daughter's name's Olivia. He talks about that on. On Netflix, and they go, he's not going to use the real name. I uh-huh. bet it's Olivier. <laughs> and then, so you and Shaddy, just me and wanted, Shaddy, just wanted to have a French name for a kid. Had a couple girls, wow. Dutch and Olivier. You know, yeah, Dutch is a solid. Could go boy or girl name. Uh, that might be it. Uh, I've had no. I've been linked to no controversy, rumors, and legal issues. So that's wrong. Uh, yeah, I mean, is there one thing about this is right? Yeah, uh, I went to McGavick High School and Tennessee State University. Uh, <laughs> could not probably get into either one of those things. Uh, I think that's it. Um, yeah, that's uh, so it's random. Pretty great. Yeah, I love. I, I mean, I just love Hardy. Wolf. Wharf. <laughs> or Wharf. Wolf. Wolf would have been yeah, a better no. name. <laughs> well, a lot of people call him Wolf, and he gets upset about it. That's why he ran off, because uh, everybody's like, uh, this is my brother. They go, this is my brother, Wharf. Wolf? Wharf. He gets real, like, and we're like, calm down, Wolf. We have to tell him to calm down. He, he starts growling. And he growls, and you're like, Wharf, calm down. Can you pull up a picture of Wharf from, from Star up, Trek? Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, there's a a real wharf on yeah, Star Trek. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't remember if it's a, a, a like a species or a person. But uh, but he's got he's got a weird W O R F. Uh, Wait, what? W O R F. Oh, well, that might different. be W A R F. But it's W O R F. Wharf Star Trek. Yeah, there you go. See what this guy looks like. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That guy looks like a wharf. <laughs> that's I mean, that's what he, your brother looks like. Yeah. That is my no, brother. No, it's his son, right? That no, oh, Worf's my brother. brother. Okay, his son is Olivier. Yeah. Olivier in Dutch. Dutch. No, yeah. it's two daughters. Uh, uh, you don't have a kid. Sorry. This is that, that is a Worf that when you if you saw him you would, and you're like his name's Worf you'd be like all right yeah like you would you know what I mean like if that guy showed just say that guy in real life walks up and just goes hey you know my name's Worf you would be like yeah 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 like you would not be like what's that you would almost be able to guess it i yeah. think you would almost be like what do you think his name is you're like Worf for some reason i'm feeling Worf uh, it feels like it if you're if a if a kid comes out with that forehead you almost have to call him Worf that's like that the point. you opposite. can't just call him like tom i know you like know? uh billy uh that's like the opposite of uh when what's it when you sleep when a baby sleeps on their head and their head gets flat? Yeah. Oh, the cone head thing. The cone head. That's like if they if he slept face forward <laughs> like too long and the parents never gave him a helmet to straighten him back out. Yeah. They never they never did it. Which uh, speaking of, go to sleep in head first, like an owl. I posted a picture yeah. of that yesterday. Yeah. So they, uh, this is how owls sleep. Apparently. <laughs> Baby owls sleep face down because their heads are too heavy to hold up. And I'm apparently a dead mouse. Guy. I know. Well, he's asleep. Oh. Uh, that's how my sleep, too. Uh, don't presume. This podcast is not about presuming. We don't know what the motive of that owl was, if he killed that mouse or not. Uh, but they, I, I get sent like. Uh, Animals lying down, like how they sleep. That's like my thing now. Like I just get, I get, mm-hmm. I get coffee stuff all day long. Oh sure. And then I get any animals. But this one was a good one. I mean, an owl sleeping like that is just. <laughs> it looks like he had a night. I mean, he <laughs> went out and just lived it up, and then didn't even make it all the way back into his house. <laughs> he. <laughs> Look at this. Do Face take, down. Do you think you would dread going to bed if that's how you I had to mean, sleep? And you want to be my latex salesman. <laughs> uh, yeah, just couldn't make it. I mean, can you imagine? He's like, oh, he just wakes up the next morning, just like, just like, what happened? You know, <laughs> has no idea what happened. That's the only bird that could lay down like that, right? Don't owls have flat faces? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, they look like Worf. <laughs> like they, <laughs> they uh, I think they do. Yeah. Yeah. So it says head his head's is... too heavy to hold up. That doesn't explain why it's face down in the dirt. What if you could talk to owls and go, have you ever thought about laying on your back, though? And then they go, you know, I don't know if I have. Yeah. Uh, and then one of them tries it, and he's like, are you kidding me? Like, he goes, why didn't we ever This is so much better. Yeah, You're yeah. like, yeah, dude, all our heads are heavy. I agree. Our heads are too heavy. Hold so, on. Can't owls rotate their head all the way around to begin with? <laughs> that's false. No, I don't know if that's false. That sounds like something you would no, say. That's true. That's, that's true. That's true. I that's think they true. can do yeah. it all the way, like, like the Exorcist. Like, they could just... See if owls can get chicken pox. So even if you could... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> even if the owl's face down, it could just turn its head around before it passes oh, out. Oh, yeah, for it, like, it just does a... Right? There's there's literally... I, I'm uh, The more me. I think about it, the more I think that that owl is dead in that picture. The barred, <laughs> bared, or mm. barred owl can turn its head... It said 270 degrees in each direction, which means they can look to the left by rotating all the way to the right or vice versa. So they can basically go, uh, look up an owl x-ray. Someone posted that. They said, look that up. <laughs> and Because uh, their legs are real, something's real weird. Uh, oh, I don't like that at all. What is that? Is this what they... Oh, dude. Oh, that owl's giving a getting a COVID test. One of the pictures. Look, <laughs> Those don't look like owls, huh? Those don't look like. Well, I don't well, know. that's the point, right? Is it, yeah, I think that's because the, they're they're yeah they're all feathers. Yeah, there are a lot of feathers. It's a big part of an owl is the feathers. Uh, it's one of the it's a gigantic factor. No, uh, right. it wasn't as fun. Do owl le- X ray legs? Do owl? <laughs> someone said look up something. Just click on the an image. There you go. And then, uh, yes. I mean, you click on the one thing that's not an x ray. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at the spine. Yeah. Let's that, do that. Just do the, yeah, just do the legs. I don't think it's anything. This? I mean, <laughs> no, no, go to the one that shows the two legs. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. What are you talking about? I don't even know what we're talking about. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my grandmother to come in here and work on the look up stuff. It doesn't hold matter. On, hold on. Go back to go back to the tweet of the of the picture. Mm. Now, have you verified that this is a sleeping owl? Of course not. With anybody else? No, I did not. Uh, has Has anybody called you out about it in the comments? Probably. If they, I think someone. Well, I don't know. You know, I, I've been called out before. I had a guy message me because I, I posted a dead horse, you know, but not dead horse, the horse laying down. Uh-huh. I have a joke about that. And a guy sent me a DM and said he wants to punch me in the face for for uh, <laughs> for posting dead animal pictures. Like, that's my thing. Which, to be fair to him, after this owl one, it might be my thing. And uh, he's, But he, he did this whole big thing. You, who do you think you're... I mean, he was, like, real mean. Yeah. And uh, I never really comment to DMs, especially like mean ones. They, I have a rule. There's a good rule that I think everybody could use in real life. If you get something, if someone's mean to you on the internet or they do something, you give yourself 24 hours. And if you want to comment after 24 hours, then, you, then you're more than welcome to comment. But you will never want to comment after 24 hours. You're over it. You don't care. But yeah. in the heat of the moment, you want to engage. Mm-hmm. So you got to give yourself 24 hours. This guy I engaged with just because he was yelling at me about pointing these things. And so I think he just saw it some other way. So I very much enjoyed going, hey, man, uh, just a heads up. I'm a comedian. I have a joke about I thought a horse was dead, but he was. they can just lay down. And I just explained it. He never responded back. He did a uh, – I, I saw it said scene. So he oh, saw it. he saw it. And that's all. And that was enough. So it's a guy who's unfamiliar with your your comedy, and but he, just thinks he like sees I'm a your guy. Profiles just all these animals that look like, like they're you dead. Know, who does this guy? What world are we living in uh-huh. that this guy can just post dead animals? And he's pictures. amassed quite a following just posting <laughs> dead yeah, animals I mean, people, on his Instagram. It's disgusting. The people that like it, yeah. that like that kind of stuff. Uh, I always get I'll get some mean ones sometimes where they tell me my comedy stinks. But you can always look at the time, and it's always like 4.30 a.m. Oh. You're like, that guy is about to go to sleep like that owl. <laughs> like he's <laughs> He is loaded. Uh-huh. And those are kind of fun to sometimes, because 
uh, sometimes you're like, oh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I, w- I wish I you liked me or whatever, but I hope you have a good night. I just say something like that uh-huh. because the next day they're like, I'm so embarrassed about me. <laughs> like they just feel so bad because <laughs> like, they, they were like, I got tore up last night and said some stuff. Uh, so, all right, there's the owl. That was the owl picture. Uh, another uh, – so we, stuff we're doing in COVID, thing that uh, – we were doing it before COVID, but trying to get through. Uh, I was showing my daughter uh, the Star Wars movies, and so I I can end up looking up a bunch of stuff. I look on like how you're supposed to watch things. Uh, I like looking stuff up, and uh, I the the route that we chose was the, the machete order, which if you don't know the machete order, what's the explanation? There's, or you know it. I had not heard of this until Nate told me about it, and I was going to be pretty skeptical. I was at first, but then I read about it. I was like, all right, it makes, it makes sense. Like most things. He's mostly skeptical, and then I make sense probably 95% of the time. Well, it's because he wasn't explaining it. The guy who wrote it explained it, yeah. and then it made sense. So it's basically saying if you're watching Star Wars, all the Star Wars movies for the first time, if you go in uh, – the order they were released. No, I'm sorry. If you go in chronological order and start with uh, the Phantom Menace, the yeah. prequels, then the big reveal of Darth Vader being Luke's father, you're gonna. It's, there's not gonna be a big reveal because you're gonna know it from watching the prequels. You know what I mean? You're gonna sure. see him, Anakin, become Darth Vader. So if you want to keep that big surprise, then we're giving uh, a lot of stuff away today. Contagion, Star Wars, <laughs> right? <laughs> So, if you want to keep that big surprise, you can't watch it like that. So then someone said, well, just watch them in order they were released. But the problem with that is, um, once the prequels came out with Hayden Christensen, George Lucas went into the Return of the Jedi, and at the end, when he sees, when Luke sees the ghost, uh, you know, Mm -hmm. Hayden Christensen's been placed in there. Do you guys remember this? Yeah. I just watched it. They went in after the fact well, and, and added went in them after in. the fact and yeah. did it. So if you're watching it that way, you're like, "Who's this guy? I don't even know who this is." Wow. Yeah. So that can be confusing as well. So this guy, who's just some software engineer in Colorado, came up with the machete order, which is basically you watch um, a New Hope first, Empire Strikes Back, and so you so you see Luke uh, become, uh, you know. As he starts out as a young man and starts learning the Force, and then finds out that Darth Vader's his father, then you go, you skip Phantom Menace altogether. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they said no one likes it. Jar Jar Binks, Binks. Binks. There's no real purpose in it, so he said just skip it all together. So the third one you watch is Attack of the Clones. That's where you see Anakin as a young man, much like Luke was in A New Hope, and you see his rise to become Darth Vader. And they have the. They, that's when Luke and. Uh... Leia, Princess Leia, born right, right. At the end of that in Revenge of the Sith. That's the fourth yeah. one you watch. So go New Hope, Empire Strikes Back. Then you go to the prequels, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith. Then uh, once you see Darth become Anakin become Darth, you go back to Return of the Jedi and kind of see how it 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 finishes out. And then this was written before the last three came out. Then it says just watch those last three. I think it's in just order. A, yeah, yeah. Does that make it's, sense? It makes sense. Yeah. It's preserving the Luke storyline is what the guy says. What's funny is I don't even really care. Like I'm not even I like Star Wars, but I'm not a I'm not a uh huge Star Wars guy or like I'm not uh you know, like uh Marvel, like I'm not my, my brother, my dad and my brother are way into this kind of stuff. I was never Harry Potter. I was never like mm-hmm. I'm just not into like fan, a ton of fantasy. I like Superman, I like all this, I like them. But I'm just there's uh, this is a very intense way to do it. But I was just looking for some uh, you know way to like show her, and so that's how I stumbled upon this. What the, the only thing that she was like Luke being her big surprises. I think for her when we did this order, a when the Death Star blows up was one of the funnest moments I got to see. As I'm gonna cry. No, I'm joking. I guess I started start crying the first episode. I didn't make it out of the first episode. I'm going to start crying. Uh, uh, the, uh, is her, with Death Star blowing up, just her face of just like, 
whoa, yeah, like yeah. you know, yeah. and because you wanted she was invested in the movie, and then, uh, and then seeing uh, when we actually watched Jar Jar Binks, we at first we started I was going to just write them, watch them all in order, but then she sees the Luke the father, and then uh, but Princess Leia being his sister was a, a big surprise too for her to figure that out and then so you know did you watch did you do this machete order i did your, but i we watched did one you first. tell her that they were like did you just tell her oh this is all in order or did you let her know no. we're watching these out of order i i mean she's <laughs> seven so i don't know if she was diving into uh-huh. it. i mean i i i've been watching a couple were pretty easy then after that it was kind of making her i'm making her watch them like i mean she got uh-huh. kind of like yeah, she'd tease me with it. She'd say, "We can watch Star Wars. Like, if you let me stay up, we'll watch Star Wars. <laughs> like, that's how she gets to watch it." Yeah. Uh, but so she did that, and so yeah. I mean, I kind of told her, but like, you know, I don't know how much she. It's interesting to me that the special effects hold up for a yeah for a kid. That I young. think they're better the older ones. I think it's easier to watch. It's not as scary as uh, the newer ones. Mm-hmm. And so it's easier. It's easier for them to watch. Is you know not as bad. We're thinking about Harry Potter next. Is uh, the plan? I, I don't think I've ever watched. I've watched maybe a couple Harry Potters. Yeah. Have you read the books? No. <laughs> I, did I read? Come on, Aaron. Uh, do you know who you're talking to? Yeah. I know. That's why. I, did I read? Uh, I've read some books. <laughs> yeah. They. What have I read? Uh, I read. Uh, what's the Hunger Games? Hunger Games. I read the Hunger Games. Oh, okay. All the Hunger Games. I loved it. Uh, I went to a nice book phase. Uh, kind of out of it right now. That was. He thought it was a f- food book. I thought, yeah. <laughs> it's like it this. was. Uh, <laughs> I read uh, Hunger Games. I loved the yeah. book. Was awesome. Uh, I read. I remember my dad wanted me to read Hobbit, and I just was like, no. Yeah. And I thought I was like, he wants me to read it just to read it, but I was. I just don't care. Like, mm-hmm. I, and then. Uh, I've never seen Lord of the Rings. Never really watched those. Yeah. Um, I read, but I read, I read a lot of military, like, you know, like some of those Lone Survivor, like that book, they made that movie. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I don't know. Start trailing off. I don't know, man. I've read some, I've read some stuff. Uh, <laughs> I read. I read. <laughs> yeah. Books, Books, Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> a lot of Seinfeld references. I read is the un, un auto, authorized biography yeah you ever read those like it's kind of crazy that someone writes a uh, it's just like a fan writing about i mean it's a it's a guy that writes these books uh-huh. and so they they like they did one on jordan that was a big one yeah it was doing michael jordan like uh and you read his like the jordan rules was all just a a guy that 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 was not like a part of the group they talked about it at the last dance like mm-hmm so it was, you know, that's a big thing. But they had one on Seinfeld I read a long time ago. And they're all pretty good. I mean, sometimes those are the ones, you know, it's hard to tell if you feel bad because it's like getting written by some dude. Uh, but those are the ones I think that you get more out of it than you would from a guy that's not going to be open to talk about stuff. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, Jordan's not going to talk about being mean to B.J. Armstrong in yeah. his book. Like, yeah. But that guy did, and they, they fought, and Steve, all the stuff that kind of came out in Last Dance that uh, that he did. So, I don't know. I read, I like that kind of stuff. I haven't read a book in a while, though. It actually has been a while. I, and I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I enjoy reading. I would read at night. I don't know, or in bed. I should do that. Do you read the Dan Brown books? Uh, uh, I did. Oh yeah, what's that movie? Da Vinci Code. Da Vinci Code. I read Da Vinci Code. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I, I forget stuff, man. I have a problem reading a book, and then I'll just be like, "What is going on?" Like you know, <laughs> and I'll just forget the whole <laughs> beginning. I'll be. I'll read a book, and I'll realize I I, I, I haven't been paying attention the last five pages. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I've been reading it. Yeah. But, but you're thinking about something else. But, right? I, yeah. but I haven't processed yeah. the words at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do that a lot. Yeah. I do it in mo- watching movies, too. I can uh, not get... I, there's... I, I, I'm trying to think if there's any movies I've watched twice. I think there's probably... Be, you know, sometimes where you think... You're like, wait, have I seen this movie before? Mm-hmm. You think that? But I think I've watched movies twice, and I don't even have that thought. Like, I'm just <laughs> like in it going, no, we haven't. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I I can do that where your mind kind of wanders, mm-hmm. and then you you know you don't know where you're at. I've I've been I've read a lot of books where I I don't get a bookmark, 
And I just, for the life of me, can't find where I left off, so I just give up. Yeah. Done that a bunch. You know, you don't fold it, fold the... Just fold the page, Aaron. Well, you're right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could do that. That's old school, like guys. That is... Yeah. I don't like doing that. You messed the book up. There you go. Yeah, you ruined the book. And then you <sighs> have a bunch of folded parts, and then you go, yeah. then you get too many, yeah. and you're like, well, which one was the the one? Exactly. But, yeah. you know, you can get a bookmark, note card works, just regular paper at your house. I mean, there's a lot of things. Yeah, right. you, you can put a lot of stuff in a the pen. B- you could just throw a pen in the middle of the book and, you, you know. could just open it up and lay it down, opened up. <laughs> I could do all I these things. Could do it yeah. baby owl style. Just put it <laughs> face, yeah. down, face down. Face down in the dirt. Down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, why don't you just do that? Mm-hmm. Do you go back and try to read it? Oh, no. Yeah. No. You're just good, done. Those Harry Potter. When I read the Harry Potter books, I would I would read those whole books in one sitting. Oh yeah, I would sit down and read it in like seven eight hours. Wow, and just be done with it. <laughs> Was it during your COVID test? <laughs> you might knock something out the COVID test. Did y'all watch anything while you waited in line? We just listened to music. I think we just sat there. Oh y'all yeah. do? Yeah. Do you turn your music very loud? Well, I didn't. I do when it's just me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll crank it. Do you ever it get up. in a car when someone talk like has their music super loud? Mm hmm. And like when they're driving, there's like four of you. Like, have you ever done that? Where it's it's preventing conversation from yeah. happening in the car? And you're yeah. just like driving some, and you're like, what are we doing? Like, I'd that's rather the part that. that I never understood. Well, I'd rather people do that than you get in the car and the music is so low. It's like, why even can't even enjoy this? Yeah. You know what I mean? You know those people? No. Turn it up like to, like to two. Yeah. And then, I mean, I can barely tell what song this is. I turn it to two when I'm by myself, just to, that's how I enjoy music. What do you, you know what I don't on? listen to? I don't listen to words in music. I'm not a good, like, oh, okay. I don't pro, like, like, I don't take the words in. Like, you know, I know a song is like about the story. And I think there's songs that I like that are, I mean, just brute. Like, that could be about, like, someone dying and yeah. i'll be like just like you know fun listening to it because yeah. i like the beat mm-hmm. i'm not a good i was think i listen to music like the way like a dog would <laughs> like so you just, don't listen to instrumentals you just ignore the words i ignore the words okay i don't think he's all about the beat <laughs> i'm about the beat i don't think about the words i don't uh, think like i'm never listening to it going what's this song about I don't know what any songs are about. He's going like, don't fear the reaper. But, that's a great yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I would do. I would love that song. Yeah. And I do love that song. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that song's about. It was about not dying or that something. That song is like encouraging suicide. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 40,000 people every day, Romeo and Juliet. Like, they're, they're making a strong case. Oh, for... Yeah, don't fear the reaper. Don't fear the grim reaper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah. That makes sense. Like... Uh-huh. Nate's well, listening to Taylor yeah. Swift over here. <laughs> I know, like that is. And were people mad about that? I don't. I don't know if they were mad. They didn't take to the streets or anything. But I think people are. That they 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 encouraged. That is is that is that like a thing that people talk about, or is that just you saying that? Is that like something I mean, that? I think it's just known that that's kind that's of a dark it's song. It's about the the. I thought it was a fun song. <laughs> because I don't I don't know what the because the cowbell and everything. Yeah, yeah Saturday Night Live. That uh. Yeah. They really changed that song, I feel yeah. like. If that sketch hadn't come out, maybe people would feel differently about it. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is true. Don't fear the reaper, Romeo and Juliet, like everything's suicide. Yeah. <laughs> Forty thousand people every day. Die of suicide. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that number's accurate now, but uh, it just sounded good. It rhymed. It's in the <laughs> it, like that, it, I'm it, sure yeah, you just go rhythmically it fit. <laughs> yeah, you're like, nah, it's like a hundred, but forty thousand, the rhythm of that was just so good I couldn't Yeah. <laughs> I could do it, you know, maybe it is. Uh, all right. Uh, we're doing good. we got to be close. Are we like an hour? Uh, oh, we're right at an hour. Felt it. Uh, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, that's what we're going to see. Like, Because I don't know how long these are going to be. Look, I think this thing could go. Uh, I think we could quit this after one episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not feeling it, so I'm probably not going to do I'm not going to be here for the next one, but... <laughs> Uh, that's just me. I think these guys should do it still. <laughs> like, uh, no, I I think we will do these. I, I mean, I have ideas of just doing this. We could uh, how long this goes? An hour more? I don't know. You know, it's about being fun and funny. And uh, one thing I do want to try, and I want to try it for the next one. We brought Krispy Kreme donuts. We had them today for everybody. I get them every day, but I thought <laughs> I would use it today. But oh, yeah, I'll go by there. Are they still open? I always act like that every time I go, are they still, yeah. or is it the one that's over the, you ask a few times. 
Uh, so uh, we had Krispy Kreme donuts for people coming today, and uh, Aaron. I mean, so he said he could. You said you could eat thirty six, but I mean, how many do you honestly think you could eat? I think I can eat a lot too. I don't. Uh, if I was starving, but I would get like I can eat a lot, dude. I eat. Them, I eat them almost. I can eat them almost every day. Yeah. And uh, I, I mean, I could probably. I could maybe do a dozen. I could maybe. Yeah. You, not not but i mean how many so, do you honestly think you could do are you looking up the world record well yeah well the could world you, <laughs> could we set a world record in this next podcast that, uh, no. no 257 well don't well those are hostess question don't donuts and, they're very very different well how many of those could you eat do crispy cream see if there's a record for crispy cream how many of those could i eat i don't know not not a lot those are those are pretty heavy there you go. that's that's like a that's a cake donut a crispy cream glazed donut is probably oh probably 80 <laughs> percent air he said he ate 12 <laughs> it's 30, first in 34 seconds matt stoney that guy's great by the way <clears throat> is it do you know him for real he's a youtube he does like eating challenges <laughs> funny <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, Aaron's hero. No, know, he's what just you, impressive. What into, he's he's dude? a he's a competitive eater. You like eating so much that you are into the athletes that do it. You know, I had a fun joke about the hot dog eating contest a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, about that, like, there's no fat people, and like, you would think the guy that eats the most hot dogs should be like, weigh 400 pounds. Uh-huh. And but the guy's in the greatest. The guy, that Joey Chestnut, is in terrific shape. Yeah. So fat people are not even good at what they're good at. That they get beat out by just tiny, skinny, like, it's so crazy to me that you have to be ripped and, like, muscular to eat all of these hot dogs. You would think, I mean, don't you think you would just have a dude just plops up there where he's just enormous and just, just just pounds all these hot dogs? If, well, not if the, if it's about speed. Like right, the Nathan's hot dog eating chamber, that's about oh, that's speed. Right. If Whoa. it's if you're talking just like endurance, what are we gonna walk? Well, we got how long is this show gonna be? Like we get they're gonna just show you all on Fourth of July, and you're just like all day. You're just watching you. Well, I understand. I understand. I'm saying that 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 type of competition probably lends itself to a guy who's in shape. But if but so, if, if right. it's if it's a mar- if talking like a marathon, let's say we that, have that's, that's when the fatties the come out. Huh? Of now we're talking. I know we're we're talking about the podcast. We're we'll doing it, <clears throat> but so you're saying that if they had a show, and it's like, let's do a Thanksgiving dinner show where it never <laughs> stops getting served. It's like an <laughs> Italian mom that keeps bringing food yes. out, yes. as I know, as a as full blooded <laughs> Italian. Uh, so like, and it just never stops. That would almost be pretty good. And who could keep going? That's actually a pretty good show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We do it where you you just keep getting served, and you and who has to end up leaving the table? Who yeah. can stay? How long yeah. can you stay? That's when you'd see the fat guys come out. They would, they would start to show up. <laughs> they start to show up. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to sit there, and then I mean, yeah, but you got to be eating the whole time, and they keep bringing. Because I think when you're speed eating, <laughs> when you're speed eating, you're working all kinds of muscles, and and and, and there's there's a real physical process to that. Yeah. If it's just like for the love of the game, like yeah. endurance, yeah. Just, <laughs> just just who can last yeah. the longest? Yeah. And even the, the hot dog eating championship, like they're never placing. They're not doing yeah. well, but there are some fat guys up there that are like the the world yeah, ramen eating they're champion, just enjoying and, themselves. Yeah. yeah, they're they're up there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They just you hear them go. What's that? This is a competition. Uh, I thought this was the line for hot dogs. Oh, I just thought. Marco Nutson's got that joke. What is it? Does he? He won a hot dog eating contest. He didn't even know who's in. Oh. Uh, yeah. They. Uh, so you think how many? Honestly, during this length of this podcast, how many Krispy Kreme donuts? Oh, could an you eat? hour. I could eat. I could eat a dozen without even thinking about it. Yeah, you said thirty six downstairs. I said no. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I'm just walking We're you through. I down. could eat a dozen like no problem. Dozens, not even, not even, don't it, even not wait, even. I have to wake it. It would up. affect me later. I mean, it would compound yeah. over time. But yeah. like a dozen, no problem. Yeah, uh, I could at two dozen. It's gonna start to. Yeah, I'm gonna start to feel it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I mean, it remains. I mean, I don't know how much I get of that third dozen. We'll find out. We're, I think we should find I mean, out. Would is, you try it? If we bring them in next time, <laughs> we just put them. Yeah, in Yeah, I would try it. As long you know, I, I would try it for the the science of it. Just to yeah, whatever you gotta tell yourself, man. It's for the science of it. 
That's what this is going to, this is going to be in some Harvard lab in 15 <laughs> years. Like they're, they're just looking at you, they're studying this eating. As long as it's in service of some greater good and it's not just me <laughs> living a dream. Yeah. You know? I mean, I, you know, I like them. I mean, I, I just, yeah, I was, you, I wanted to just like, could you really get through? I mean, I would be impressed with two dozen, I think. Really? In, during in the an pod- hour? Yeah, just the length of this podcast. Yeah. Now am I now can we talk can we set some rules? I mean, yeah, can, can I can I leave in the middle of this or is it in one sitting? It's in one sitting. Okay. So I can't get up to uh go to the bathroom? Yeah. No, I don't okay. I mean, you do, shouldn't be doing it if you if you have to do that's yeah, a problem. Yeah, do we need a doctor? Yeah, on, like that's call? like I'm just I've covered my bases here. Okay, I can't leave. I can have water. We have a bathroom in this room and if you go in there <laughs> During this, I would, I would, uh, I would just, use a different bathroom. You would go, oh, you would drive home. I would back. Probably, yeah. I'd probably go to it. I've done that, by the way. Have you got a hotel room? Go get a hotel room. <laughs> they did. There was a Ray Romano. They uh, and something he shot uh, about doing comedy. They did that somewhere. They they actually got a hotel room. Wow. Because they like you know they had to go to the bathroom and something they couldn't do so they just they found some hotels like 50 bucks and they're like yeah it is what it is i went to thanksgiving at a friend's house and i i snuck out and drove to a gas station <laughs> used to yeah. there, but drove back nobody knew yeah i was like i'm not about to do this to this nice yeah. family yeah <laughs> just that just he just let me in yeah Make the uh, rule he can go to the bathroom. But it's gotta be right yeah, no, I don't want and, it. And you and I are just talking. Yeah. You can just if, hear if him the in only there. bathroom I could use is right there, I would not use it. Yeah. I would, I'm not. Doing I think that. you got to sit. And it's it's what you think you can do. Yeah. Here. So you think, yeah, 24? We're, we're get 24? I would get at least 24. If I got less than 24, I would be upset with myself. Yeah. Because I, get, I talked a big game should earlier. Should I get 36? Well, we got to have it. We're half 36. I'll have 36 here. Okay. And we'll see what you can do. Okay. And I think me and Bates could do... Uh, I'm. By the way, I'm not against... I'm not like... Yeah. Being like, you're a big dude. Let's try to see how much you need. <laughs> you say you could eat 36 to a breeze. You're right. I was, ta- I was talking a big game uh, earlier, but I didn't think I would, I, I would be asked to do, do well, it publicly. Should, yeah, to yeah. Put my money where my mouth is. <laughs> That's the problem with this world. People don't put their money where their mouth is, and that's what this podcast is about: is putting your money where. No, I don't know. Uh, I, I why, ca- I'll never suggest any. I'm never ever going to say anything. Yeah. Huh? I want to counter, and it dings every time you finish one. It just tallies up. We're let everybody. Okay. Know. What are you chocolate glazed? Oh, just glazed. You can't. You can't. Just glazed. You can't introduce other stuff. It's got to. You can't be. mix it up. Yeah. All right. Just glazed. Uh, I might get some chocolate for myself. Okay. I really regret doing this, but yeah. I but I would, we don't have to do it. No, I wouldn't. I think it's fun. <laughs> we don't have to do it. I mean, I mean, now I feel like we have to, but uh, but I would do it. I'd just be curious to see what you can do. I mean, we had people. I think you could eat twelve. I'll sit here with you. I'll try to see what I can get through. Yeah, I could probably get through a dozen. See, a dozen's not that much, dude. I feel like you could. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is. It's, Maybe I can. It's I'll more see. than you're supposed to I'll, have. I'll do. But I'll see if I can do a dozen. Okay. I'll see what I can get through. Okay. That would make me feel better yeah. about it. All right. All right. You want to get in on this action, Brian? I'll do chocolate. Oh, man. Yeah, I could do three. Well, he's three out. Stuff. He's out. This is, uh, he's got it. I don't want to get the computer dirty. He's going to take his medicine. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian's going to have laid out his pills that yeah. say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I have Monday. that. Do you? I do. Oh. We'll crush up some, uh, mm. crush up some pills, put them in the glaze for you. <laughs> All right, uh, so next week we're going to get it. I'll see what I can get through. You see what you get through. Okay. He'll, he'll do it, and then we're, uh, and we'll just be doing that as we do the podcast. Sure. It'll be fun. So, all right. Uh, all right, well, that, I mean, that was it. This first episode, I think yeah. we did. You know, we did it. It's something. This is something. <laughs> we have something going on, hand sanitizer. Everybody's temperature was below what they're supposed to be, <laughs> uh, which is good. So, uh, all right, I think that's it. So we'll see you you next week. Bye.